Hi guys, it's Jenny with Art for Good. So today we're making a marble inspired piece. I wanted something kind of elegant, something that looked a little bit like a slate marble or a piece of rock. So we're gonna use a few different techniques today. We're starting with a white base. I sped up this video just slightly so that you could uh, sort of get to the point of how to create this piece. I don't move this fast in real life, I promise. <laughs> I'm using only three colors today. I am using uh, titanium white, which you see here. And I am using a mix of cobalt blue that I've just made three different variations of. I, I sort of did a dark, medium, and light. And this is called an open cup pour technique right here where you just sort of cut the top off a cup and you start layering in the paints in between white. And this is what's gonna give you a very pretty elegant marbling once you tilt it out. If you're new to paint pouring, I will put a link here to the videos that I have for beginners, including how to thin out your acrylic paints so that it, it sort of is the right consistency for this type of art. Now you'll see I'm just sort of layering the colors and then moving the cup. So there's no real right or wrong way to do this. I'm just creating a giant puddle in the middle of my canvas. So now it's time to tilt it out. As you can see, it's already looking like marble. And so the more that stretches, the more those colors sort of interact with each other, the more it was going to look like an actual piece of marble. So you'll see I have some corners that didn't quite get covered. That's pretty normal. I also have a couple of pieces in the paint where the uh, paint did not mix properly. So it's created some little pieces of solid material that I just took out. So I'm just restretching that to make those sort of lines go away. Just mixing up some more white here. Just going to sort of make some more solid lines in this piece. I think it needs a little bit more white or some uh, negative space. So I'm going back in with my darkest color. I'm gonna create sort of a strand of dark colored rock throughout the middle of this piece. So I'm. this is what's called a straight pour where you are just pouring the paint. And then I'm going to tilt this out again to really stretch it and make it look again with that rock uh, texture type appeal. I'm also using silver. I forgot to mention that in addition to the cobalt blue. I'll put links uh, to the exact types of paint that I'm using in this piece and colors in the description below. I'm 
gonna go ahead and stretch it all the way off the canvas. I'm really liking this sort of effect. And I'm not really loving the sort of extra blue that I put on here. So I'm just gonna scrape this off with a craft stick and then re-pour over the top of that so that it looks a little more neutral. So I'm just tilting that back around to create the rock formation look. I'm just going in and fixing a few of the details. I'm also just making sure that the sides are all fully covered. Now I'm gonna let this dry for about four or five days. And I'm using a PBO uh, relief gel or paint. It's sort of a texture paint that they have come out with. It's really lovely. I'll put a link to it in the description below, but it's very bright and it makes it look a little bit um, like uneven or textured as you would say. So it's called relief gel. And this is the final piece. So I'm gonna let this fully dry for another few days and then I'm going to probably resin it to, to give it a very sleek look um, like glass or marble or polished marble. And if you are, haven't used resin before, I'll put a link here to my tips for how to use resin. It can be a little tricky. It's a little bit of an advanced technique, but it is really worth it when you can pull it off. Well, that's all I have for today. If you're not a subscriber, please remember to subscribe. See you next time.